sorry about that guys, um, I'm coming back, I uh, wasn't going to make two videos but we'll, we'll start off from here, I had to pause, I got a phone call, obviously you heard that at the end of the uh, video, uh, you missed a bit on the game but we'll get into this anyway guys, sorry about that. Must be different characters that you play as. This is a different area. I really wish I didn't. I didn't turn this thing. Yeah, who is this woman? Click these. Seeking Kate Walker. Oh. Now it makes sense. Talk to her. I can't even read this. Click read. Oh, you do. Sorry. So. Doesn't speak it. The color assigned to your team must be visible on you at all times, both outside and inside your cell. Any non compliance will be punished. Two, the salt extraction quota must be filled every day. Any non compliance will be punished. Extraction of ivory and or patriotic relics must be reported to a site staff immediately. You must respect and obey your section manager, but also the entire site staff. Meals and rests are pr privileges, not entitlements. Each cell is granted a privilege of five litres of water a day. Hmm. And that's where they fill it. Guess what you can't talk. In the depth of Siberian mines, keep your proud patience. In the depth of the Siberian mines, your sorrowful labour and great ambitions of your forge will not be wasted. Hope, the faithful sister of misery, will wake up your courage and amusement in the dark underground. The desired time will come. Love and friendship will come to you through the sombre gates as my free voice reaches you in your miserable holes. Heavy locks will fall down, prisons will crush. And freedom will greet you gladly at the door, and brothers will give you the sword. Hmm. Nothing else is. Ah, it's a guitar pick. Katusha's punk group. We'd love to have seen them. This is a few I've got to talk to. Sleep okay? Like a bear. Yeah, I heard. Better get ready, Katusha. Mm, I feel like I've been run over by a tank. Uh, the guard. So I've got to do this. We should get going, Katusha. I mean, what if the guard catches us slacking off when we should be ready? Who, Simona? She's no altar girl, but she's not the worst around here. True. But I will be ready in time to leave. I just want to get all the rest I can. Today's the day we're supposed to take over from Team Orange in Gallery C, right? Don't remind me. They say it's really tough. Isolated with no rescue party on hand. Which is crazy, because it's the worst gallery for cave-ins. Yeah. You okay? 
Sure. Digging in a salt mine 12 hours a day in the hope of finding a fragment of ivory? Couldn't be better. Don't let it get to you. Maybe I'm a fool, Kate. Maybe I should have listened to my folks. If I had stayed in line in the National Choir like a good little pawn instead of forming an anti-establishment punk group, I would not be here now. I'm glad I've got you, though. Listen, Katusha. We're going to get out of here, right? Yeah, right. If you say so. Come on, Katusha. Better get ready. Sure. Okay. Five minutes. No more. Da? Da. Freshen up. Her name's Kate. It says we've got to find Kate. Better not forget your good luck charm. Don't think I've ever seen you without it. That's all I got left. Oscar's heart. Oscar. There's all Oscar's data inside. I was lucky enough to steal it from the militia soldier who picked it up at the frontier between Baraner and the Yakast. I just need to find a compatible body for it. Oh. That is, if I ever get out of here. So, that's... Glad you're here. Let's stay close, Katusha, okay? Team Blue! Hey, you've got mail. It's for you, Americanska. Thanks. No stalling you here. I... you got five minutes to see what's inside. Or else, a less friendly face will come to get you. Take it to New York. How am I gonna? Oh, I get out of here. This melody stuck with me throughout my childhood. I remember even my mother couldn't find out what it was called. It belonged to my mother. I used to play with it when I was a kid. I forgot to put this steam thing. Get 
Hasn't been caught yet. Okay. So I think that I've read what I needed to read. Is it in the parcel? Do I have to push on anything here? this parcel I ought to take a closer look at it I did I couldn't Olivia Foster New York what could she have sent me given our dispute after my leaving with Hans strange what August 23rd, 2003. Dear Kate, wherever you are now, despite the sad news it contains, I hope this letter reaches you in time for you to make preparations to return to New York. Your mother, Sarah Walker, passed away last night at Mount Sinai Hospital. She had been doing poorly for several months and her death was no doubt a release. The funeral will take place Thursday, next week. We push back the ceremony so you can be with us. If I'm not mistaken, returning to the United States means you run the risk of having to answer to the law. Sometimes it's better to pay your debts to society instead of being forever on the run. And once, just put aside those senseless, adventurous pretensions of yours. They've already cost you your friends and family. I beg you, Kate, please come back and say goodbye to your mother. Call me so we can organize your return in the best conditions possible. I've enclosed your mother's pendant. According to her, you used to love the mystery of its melody. I promised her I would send it to you. Call me for the sake of what's left of our friendship. Olivia. Two one two, three five nine, fifteen nineteen. Well, I got my phone. Okay, we might leave this video. Uh, what's the time actually? I'll keep going. Right well easy. done, Donna, dear. I'm so proud of your concert on the square at the Academy of Music. We shall find a pretty frame for your diploma. Thank you, Mother. Once you've finished your studies at the Academy of Music next year, you'll be able to start higher education at the Paris Conservatory. Won't she, Anton? Of course. Of course. Then, my darling, You'll become a great concert pianist. You make us so proud, doesn't she, Anton? Uh, of course. Uh, of course. So That's proud. Yeah, okay, he's busy. I can't wait to see the Paris Conservatory, even though I'll miss you both terribly. And it's perhaps not such a bad idea for you to move away from Wagen. Times are hard at the moment for people like us. <coughs> I do worry about your health still. Thankfully, Herr Gustav agreed to take you on at the mountain refuge this summer. Oh, yes. The mountain air will do you a world of good, my dear. By the way, did you write to Herr Gustav to thank him? Oh, uh, well, I was very busy rehearsing the concert, you know. The gentleman is offering you a job, Donna. Thanking him is the very least you can do. Yes, Mother, I'll do it right away. Well, give me a fine and I will. Oh. 
Herr Gustav, my future employer. Thanks to this summer job, I'll be able to help Papa pay for another year of schooling at the Music <laughs> Academy. I guess I'll read this. <laughs> I am pleased to announce that I have selected your application for this summer seasonal job at the Refuge I am in charge of. It's not adopted. Your contract will begin on Monday, 5th of July and will end on 31st of August. Uh, we expect this to be a busy period. Our refuge will be welcoming a group of scientists who have come to train in the mountain before they leave for an expedition to the east. Your daily duties will mainly consist of serving at meal times and cont contributing towards maintaining the refuge. Since I read on your circling resume, I'll just say resume, I can't say that word, that you are a student at the Academy Academy of Music, oh my god, I'll ask you to perform on the piano some evenings. I would also like to use this letter to inform you that in addition to your salary you'll be fed, housed and laundered throughout the duration of your work. I'm looking forward to your, your arrival and wish you an excellent end to the school year. Thank you. The diploma Frau Beckmann gave me after my concert on the musical square. Mama was so proud. Nothing else to select here. Empty pictures, okay. Well, oh, that must be fine. That's weird. I have received the paintings. Given their quality, I can only congratulate you on getting them at such good price. I can already tell you that they will find a buyer among my American clientele and we will get a return on our small investment very shortly. On a more personal note, I wanted to thank you and your lovely Lena for the message of support included with your package. The doctors seem optimistic about Miriam's recovery. They think she should be back on her feet this summer. With each passing day, I am ever more amazed that such a strong woman did me the honour of marrying me. However, I would not hide from you that we are both terribly downcast. Despite Miriam's medical history, the charitan of an obstetrician had left us with serious hopes that this unexpected pregnancy would turn out well. Although it was really hard for us to take such a final decision. We decided not to turn, run the risk of being met with further disappointment in the future. This is about Miriam's physical health and it must be agreed the moral health of us both. I imagine that all there is left for us to do is to learn to live with the idea that we will grow old alone. Miriam and I without any children. We are doing that at the moment. I have no children, no partner. I don't know what I'm doing. In such, such circumstances, my dear friend, you understand that every day God gives us, we wonder about the expediency of remaining here in Australia, while the sound of the brown shadows boots can be heard more and more in our streets. Miriam and I would perhaps be safe on the other side of the Atlantic, where, as you know, I have the benefit of strong professional relationships and that some well-placed friends in the New York art community. In any case, please know that your, your and Lena's support went straight to her heart. This further proof of the unwavering loyalty that binds our two households has been the only ray of sunshine for us in this particular dark time for our friendship relationship. I thank both of you for this renewed expression of our honest friendship. Yours truly, Adam. I ought to put these away before I lose them. I'm pretty sure I know this piece by heart now anyway. Hmm. Maybe I could use it to write my letter to Herr Gustav. 
Hmm. Maybe I could use it to write my letter to Herr Gustav. It's good that you can open it. Have you asked your father for his pen? I've already got one. I ought to write that letter before I go up. Papa, could your pen be around here somewhere? Could be, I suppose. Four Alberg automatons. These machines are incredible. I don't feel like reading that. <laughs> no pen here. Papa is so untidy. You could close the drawers when you're done, little Miss Nosy. I did. Down it, Puppet. I'm busy right now. Uh, I'll go. Where am I going to write this? Okay, here we go. Herr Renner. Herr Renner, I would like to thank you Piss for... Piss over here, you filthy McGowan! Don't, 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 Anna, it's too dangerous! Oh my! What in the name of... What the hell? Mama's right. It could be dangerous to go out right now. Dana, darling, no, no, give it to me, please. Oh, my goodness. What does it say, Father? It's nothing, Dana. Nothing but spite. Will they ever leave us in peace? Come on, Lena, my dear. Hey, come on. Look at me. Don't let it get you down. Huh? Or we'll both end up in Paris with Dana. Piss off out of here, you filthy Vagarins. Horrible. Vagarins? Okay, we'll leave this here. We'll leave this episode here. We'll continue on to the next episode. Next time. Thank you for watching Siberia the World Before. Episode 3 will be coming shortly. Please subscribe. I've set donations up as well for my legal matter. Uh, if anyone can donate any amount, also let your friends know about this game, this is my channel, and just, just get the word out. It'll help me greatfully.
pause uh, for the next video. Kate! Come on! We need to get to work now. Kate, please. They'll beat you up if Simona finds you like this. Kate, stop this. You can't change the past. Now come to work before you get us both killed. That's it. I'll get started working now. You push the cart closer and come dig next to me, okay? Thank you, sis. I'm very sorry, love. But we'll have all night long to cry. All right, we'll see you later, guys. We'll see you later, everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.